hello guys to be honest between you and i i didn't expect that i'll come up here to be talking about this anytime soon but unfortunately yesterday uk home secretary have announced the commencement date when the five point plan to cut down net migration will take effect now this is no longer a proposal this is now talking about when this is going to take effect remember that in, on the 4th of december 2023 uk home secretary announced that they want to cut down and stop they want to cut down net migration and stop care workers from bringing in dependents they want to increase the salary threshold for foreign workers coming as a skilled worker they want to ensure that any home care or any care organization that is employing new applicants or offering visa sponsorship is registered with CQC. Like there were different plans that were announced, even the reviewing of the postgraduate visa and all that. But now, a date when this will take effect has been announced. Now, it's no longer a talk, a discussion about it's coming up in spring 2024. It's coming up the exact day that this is going to take effect. Each of these plans that were announced, the exact date is going to take effect has been announced. And guys, I just really need you to plan anyone that have any plan to relocate to the UK. Any means possible, they're able to do this fast. It's very important for you to take action now. So, if you think this is going to benefit you, I would advise you stick with me till the end of this video. And for those who are joining us on this channel for the first time, trust me, this is not my regular face. This is not my normal look. But I just don't want to waste any time because the date announced is so close that any action or anything that needs to be done by anyone planning to come to the UK needs to take action as fast as possible as now. Okay, so if this is your first time on this channel, welcome to my channel, Talk to Bimi. On this channel, I share news on immigration and beneficial ways that you can relocate developed country. Of course, among other things. I want to encourage you to join this family, subscribe to this channel, turn on your notification bell, so that as soon as I share any new updates, you are among the first set of people to receive it. And to my returning subscribers, you guys know that I appreciate you a lot. Thank you so much for always coming back to watch my videos. Thank you for like. Thank you for sharing my videos. Please, please, please do not stop doing this as this is what encouraged me to do. In fact, this is one of the reasons I really want to make sure that I am your sure plug. I'm always updating you as soon as any changes are made. So without wasting more time, let's go into details of what dates each of this proposed plan. Why do I keep saying proposed plan? The, pro the plan that was proposed then, which have now been confirmed to take effect, what date each of this plan will take effect? So the first one we're looking at now is the decision that have been made in terms of care workers coming to the UK in 2024. So the date when they're going to stop care workers from bringing dependents to the UK have been announced for March 11, 2024. This is actually surprising because all this plan proposed were supposed to take effect in spring and spring is always the last week in March that's when spring starts but I'm surprised that these people just want to do anything possible to just cut down net migration and now anyone applying for a visa to switch to health and care visa or anyone who is doing a fresh application for health and care worker visa will no longer be able to bring their dependents along on that application recall that a rule was introduced by uk government that any care organization planning to employ an applicant to come and work with them in the organization as a fresh applicant whether from outside the uk or within the uk maybe anyone that is switching visa but want to switch to the health and care worker visa i want to work with a care organization such organization needs to be registered with cqc that is the care quality commission who is in charge of ensuring that everything is accurately done in care in providing care services right so now same march 11 2024 any care organization that is not registered with cqc though currently they are still making it strict that if you're not registered with cqc you'll not be able to offer a certificate of sponsorship to someone or you'll not be able to employ someone to come and join you but it's still like you know they're still in it about it but now it has been made official like any organization that is not registered or is not regulated by cqc can no longer bring 
anyone to come and work with them i've talked about the cqc in my previous videos but in my next video i think either tomorrow or even later today i will share a video whereby you'll be able to check to be sure that the organization that you are expecting cos from is actually registered with cqc i'll show you how to check all these things i will upload the video shortly after this but because this one is a breaking news that's why i'm setting this one first then that one will come later so just stay tuned so if you have not subscribed to this channel now is a good time to subscribe and turn on the description bell so that as soon as I share any new update, trust me, you are among the first set of people to receive it. So the next one also is recall that they plan one of the plan was to increase salary threshold for skilled workers from twenty six thousand pounds to to thirty eight thousand seven hundred. Now we had a lot of debates about this and we're just trying to think about it that this is not possible because even a regular british or an average residence in the uk they don't earn up to that like most people in the uk earn between twenty seven thousand and thirty seven and thirty thousand pounds per annum right but now they want to increase it to thirty eight thousand seven hundred but guys now it has been made official this is what the uk home secretary said about it an increase to the minimum salary required for those arriving on a skilled worker visa from 26,200 to 38,700 will start from April 4th. But the only good thing again, but I don't really know if I can call it a good thing because if you already stop dependents from coming with their main applicant, then how is this a good thing? Which is that it has been confirmed also that care workers or anyone coming via the care the health and care worker visa route will not be affected by the new salary threshold so you are not required to earn thirty eight thousand seven hundred before you can come via the health and care worker visa but really is it juicy because you can't come with your dependent so what's the essence of it so it will only benefit those who are single or those who wouldn't mind staying apart from their family for five years five years god Anyway, that's that about that. Then, for those who are currently in the UK, Home Secretary stated that applications already submitted would be assessed under the old rules. However, immigrants and families already living in the UK earning under the threshold were left in Nemo, not knowing whether they would be allowed to stay when they renew their visa. And now, for those who want to come via the family visa, I've already talked about this before. So currently, you can only bring your spouse or your family to the UK if you earn £29,000 per annum. So remember that um, the Prime Minister said for now, that's for 2024, that's when this rule is going to be is reduced to 29000 instead of the proposed 38700 that they first of all announced. So now it's been agreed that you're only required to earn £29,000 for you to be able to bring your family or your spouse to the UK as a UK citizen or a, a, a UK resident that already have a permanent residence, that's the indefinite leave to remain, and you want to bring your spouse or you want to bring your family to the UK, you only require to earn 29000 And when the announcement was made, the Prime Minister said that it is just for now, that in 2025, it will be increased back to the proposed the initially proposed 38,700. But during this announcement that the UK Home Secretary made yesterday, he didn't say anything about that. So for now, fingers crossed, if you are someone with a permanent residence in the UK or you're someone with a citizen and looking to bring your family to the UK, you only require to earn 29,000 pounds. Funny enough, according to the Home Secretary, he believed that he has given enough time for people to prepare. In his words, he said, I've been clear that migration is too high and we must get back to sustainable level. Last year, I set out robust measures to reduce the numbers coming into our country, tightening the rules on care workers, skilled workers, and making sure that people can support their family members that they bring over. It is a firm approach, but a fair one, and gives those affected time to prepare whilst ensuring that migration comes down. Guys, honestly, I don't know how, because this news to me, even me that I'm not directly affected by this, like it came to me as a shock. 
let alone, I can imagine how people with dreams to come to the UK, how they are feeling right now. So, and if you are currently in the UK and you're worried about the future of your children, like for those who are planning to switch, like those who are currently on, on the student visa and they, they've not yet switched to skill local, because if you even look at it, you know, I was talking to someone yesterday and the person was like, oh, at least I can always go via other routes. I don't really need to, uh, to switch my visa from the study visa to a permanent visa uh, by going to into the care sector or something like that but when you now come to think about it with this increase i don't know if uh for those who don't know you know they've increased ihs fee by 66 percent and by 66 percent this is to take effect on the 6th of february 2024 so from 624 pound per person per year per adult per year you expected to pay 1035 pound per adult per year now so let's calculate it when we're doing the calculation that if this person now gets job with visa sponsorship and switch visa via another route right once this person is able to do this and you have a family of three people now let us calculate it together that means you'll be paying for two adults once I, I mean i did the, the breakdown of the calculation on this video if you if you've not seen this video it's a good watch for you if you are still feeling relaxed that oh i can always come via other field on the skilled worker route guys you really need to think about like this is something you need to think about i don't even know how uk government really starts down thinking about this because when you are thinking oh let me run to care worker visa then you are seeing that you can't come with a dependent and when you want to go to other field under the skilled worker visa then you have to pay a huge amount for ihs then how do people survive so anyway back to what i was saying for those who are wondering how to go about what will happen per adventure after the switch visa they're not able to move with their dependents i have a video that i'll be uploading on saturday about another alternative route that you can use to settle in the uk if you are already in the uk so is a good time for you to subscribe turn on the notification bell so that as soon as i post this video you are among the first set of people to receive it and you can start making plans make a's while sun shines like nobody expects all these changes we're going to take effect anytime soon and look at this that means uk government actually really mean business i'm so sorry for people that have plans to come to the uk that have been slacking about it and those who are seriously working towards it but it's not working out yet i just pray that what will work out for you and make things easier for you is what the lord will do for you until i see you in my next video please share this video to as many people as possible so people can know what the recent update is and bye for now